Hello, I'm Philip Burton, and in this video I want to talk about the value of Microsoft Office certifications and how you can get them. Microsoft Office is one of the two most used Office suites, and includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Access. Microsoft also offers certifications in each of these programs. But why would you want to be certified? For me, there are two main reasons. The first one is to gain additional skills that you didn't already have. New skills will expand your capabilities or allow you to do things that you are already doing faster. Now, for you to gain these new skills, you need to know what they actually are. Unfortunately, you don't know what you don't know. So how can you work out what you need to know? This is where Microsoft Office certifications can help, as they have a detailed list of individual skills that you need to learn for the exams. Essentially, they're the skills Microsoft wants you to learn. A certification route will give you a good syllabus for you to follow. Now, according to a recent Pearson report, which looked at 29,000 candidates who completed IT certifications, and you can read the full things here, 73% of candidates pursued their certifications to upskill and obtain necessary skills for their current and future work, and 91% of candidates say that it gave them increased confidence. If you're an employer, then the Global Knowledge's IT Skills and Salary Report estimates that the return on investment is an additional US$10,000 per credentialed employee. But what about if you're looking for a new job or possibly a promotion? Well, you go to a job interview and you can either say, I am a really good user of Microsoft Excel. I say so myself. Or you could say, Microsoft says, I'm a really good user of Excel. So everyone says the first statement. For you to say the second, someone has to independently verify your skills. And according to Pearson, after getting their certifications, 36% of candidates got new jobs, 21% were promoted in their existing company, 57% wanted to enhance their professional profile, resume or CV, 28% of candidates had pay rises and 42% were still hopeful of a pay rise. These pay rises were typically in the first three to six months after being qualified and the median or average pay rise was around 10%. So what are the Microsoft Office certifications? Well, there are seven different exams and they fall into two different levels of difficulty, associate and expert. So the associate exams are for Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook. Now, if you pass any individual exam, then you will get an official Microsoft certification for that subject, such as Microsoft Office Specialist Outlook Associate. In addition, if you pass any three out of the four exams, then you will be credited as a Microsoft Office Specialist Associate in Office 365 and Office 2019. Now, there are also exams available for Office 2016 and Office 2013. All of these exams are based on Microsoft Office as used in Windows as opposed to on a Mac. Now, once you've got this associate specialist, you can then go for the expert. And there are three exams, one for Word, one for Excel, and one for Microsoft Access. So if you've got the previous certification, and then if you pass two of these three expert exams, then you can call yourself a Microsoft Office Specialist Expert. So what do you need for each of these exams? Well, have a look at each of the home pages, and if I scroll down, you can see the skills measured, and you can see these six different skills. But there's much more than that. If you click on Download Exam Skills Outline, you then get a detailed list of everything that you need to do for that particular exam. So you can have a look at all of these requirements and think, yes, I can do this, or alternatively, I didn't know you can insert 3D models into Word. Now, how can you take these exams? Well, they're offered by CertiPoint, and we just click on the Schedule Exam button here. You would then need to find your local area. The cost is around $100 per exam. Now, you can learn this information by going to traditional in-person instructor-led courses. And while that is an option at work, it is certainly not inexpensive. For example, this one that I have found costs around 300 US dollars per certification. So for me, a better way to learn these skills would be through a study course. Now, if I could help you, why not join me in my course on Udemy? So in this course, we go through the MO100, MO200 and MO300 certifications. So that is sufficient for you to have all of the requirements for the Microsoft Office Specialist Associate. 
This course has got many different practice activities and also quizzes so that you can be sure that you are learning. After this course, you should be in a position to take and hopefully pass that associate certificate. So thank you very much for watching this. I do hope that you decide to investigate these exams and maybe even go for them. Wouldn't they look good on your CV or resume? Have a look at the different skills that you need and see if there are any gaps in your current skill set. Once you've got these exams, then you can put them onto LinkedIn and other social media and also for your next job application. It could also give you more opportunities within your current company, such as a promotion. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this video and keep learning.